Hello everyone, in this video I wanted to show you what I did for the trailer for the Autopilot 136. I know there's some questions out there about you know the best setup and I went through a few iterations of this. What I have is an old boat trailer. Uh, it's an old 1960s or 70s boat trailer that I redid. Uh, sanded it down, painted it, put all new hardware on it. And I went, so the, the setting right now is you see the baluster here that this board sets on. So the boards, those are two by sixes, and they sit uh, right on with the flat spot. So if you set that canoe on the ground or kayak on the ground, that's the area that would rest. Now that area up there would also rest on the ground. So I put the uh, keel support there, and, but I don't have anything at the back. But if it were sitting on the ground, that would you know, likely take some load as well. But I find that that there I think is enough with the, with the main support there. One of the things I did try, and I've seen this mentioned online before, was I had purchased the 12 inch ballisters and jacked that two by six as high up as I could to see if I could launch the boat with the motor down uh, with the idea that I'd launch it into the water, hit the autopilot and then drive away and come back. What I found is that when, in my setting it didn't work, it could work. The one trick that, that got me was, that I didn't think of, was the front of my board didn't extend any farther than it does now, so it was just higher. But when the back end of the boat started floating in the water, the front end, of course, dropped down, pivoting at the front of that two by six. And that caused the motor to hit the tongue of the trailer and it wouldn't float off. So it ended up being a bad scenario there. I guess if I'd have, extended the the board farther it might have helped but as you can see if the board was extended farther the pivot point would still uh just be farther up but it's also shallower so i still don't think it would work and two uh, a lot of the ramps i use are pretty shallow so they weren't it had to back the trailer pretty far down i ended up i was back in the, the actual uh trailer jack into the water and it started to to see effects so i was losing all the grease in that trailer jack so Anyway, I'm back to lowering it as low as possible. And then the other thing, I'll, like on this setup, the other thing that's critical is the side supports. Uh, I've had it a couple times, had to have a couple, one guy help me at uh, one lake where if the boat wasn't centered on the supports, you know, the, the sides would actually catch, you know, this would be underwater. If this wasn't so high, this, if this were down here is where I used to have it, um, it would actually, you know when the boat was floating it would actually float over top of that and then when I pull the boat out it would uh, of course sit sideways or whatever and you know if you own one of these boats you know they're not light and not easy just to readjust on there so getting that side support up as high as you can get it you know this so that when you're back in the water this is sticking out of the water to keep the boat centered when you're pulling it out so what I did there is I used two 12 inch ballisters to get that sideboard up high enough or if you had a pole probably the right way to do it maybe it would be a uh, a plastic poles or something to keep it centered right here at the thickest part when you're pulling it out of the water there's another view of the trailer setup if you have any questions about that setup feel free to shoot me an email